Good morning. I've just pinned my hair up because I'm about to go on the tube and you know I don't like, I like to have my hair up when I'm on the tube because I get hot. Yeah, it was painful. It was really, really painful. Once the anaesthetic had worn off the pain, I mean, she's just been in tears. And even this morning, and she has a test this morning, so I'm really worried about her, but it had to be done because she can't really have her braces fitted until she has that surgical treatment and hopefully this is the worst pain that it will be so hopefully it won't be any i feel really i feel really naked without my hair down hopefully she won't suffer this much pain when she has her braces fitted i've never had train track braces so i don't know if you have had tra train track braces or if you know someone who has please let me know in the comments how bad we should expect it to be because we have no clue. No one in the family has ever had train track braces. Oh, apart from my sister, years ago, but I mean, you know, years ago when she was like 11 or 12 or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't stop thinking about her, but I'm heading into town today. The day is absolutely manic with press events and press launches. Like, I think there are about 15 or 16. I've got a list to go to, but I'm not going to go to. I think I'm just going to go to two of them because um, otherwise it's just exhausting. So I'm gonna try and take you with me. We're going to go to a perfume showcase and we're also going to go to my favorite skincare brand. So I'll take you with me. Oh, and I oh, <laughs> fell over. I almost forgot to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing very casual clothes today. So I'm totally into wide leg pants at the moment. So I'm wearing these wide leg black trousers with some chunky trainers. This t-shirt, which is seems to be on repeat. And this gorgeous little, very old Chloe cropped leather jacket, which I think goes a bit better with the wide leg trouser. I did put on a blazer, but it just didn't look so good. And then we've got this bag, a Fendi bag, which is great for carrying so much stuff in there. It takes everything I want. Ugh, the thing I love about this blazer is this neckline. It's not a blazer, this jacket. I love this neckline. I just think it is so feminine and elegant. I think it suits my face shape. I think it suits my, yeah, I love this neckline. I have a Patrizia Pepe coat in this same neckline it's a kind of light pink boucle jacket long jacket and i love that as well just because i think it just makes it just makes my jawline look really nice to be honest but now that i've done my little outfit of the day we're ready to go Sorry about the light guys, I'm in the White Hall at Harrods and this is the Omrovitsa pop-up. I'm sure you guessed when I said one of my favourite skincare brands, you knew what's going to be Omrovitsa. And they've got like this special pop-up till, you can't hear me, I'm going to come close, they've got this special pop-up till the end of the month, till the 30th of September. And there's like a gift with purchase, I'll show you all of that. I'm about to have a consultation with, this is the gorgeous Borgena. She's gonna give me a little skincare consultation. No, I have very normal skin. You know, the pads are slightly more dry. Any sort of concerns? Is there anything that you want to address when it improves in your skin? I would like to improve some plumpness and fullness where I can. Sorry about the wind and the traffic guys, but I am now on the sixth floor, I'm actually on the terrace at the Hotel Cafe Royale for the uh, Aspects Beauty Showcase. They have the best perfumes, like if you're into niche perfumes, which you know I am, um, this is, they have the best selection. So I'm just going to have a look around, see if I can show you some bits, but before I do, look at this view. This is the view, apologies about the ambulance noise, but this is the view, and that's Regent Street up there, and that's Lower Regent Street there, where you can see the ambulance just coming up. Let's see if I can get a bit closer, without falling off. So that's Eros down there, that's Piccadilly Circus. 
mean, wow, look, you can just about see the shard on the skyline. Literally have a beach situation on the terrace. How wonderful is this? So I've just been looking at this Florida originated sun cream brand. This is Sun Bum and I am loving this stick. It's absolutely clear and translucent on the skin but feels amazing. And then we've also been talking about Kula and some of these products which I've not used before and I'm now obsessed with. Right, okay. These sun silk drops gives a lovely golden hue to the skin and but full spectrum coverage as well. And how cool is this? This is a makeup setting spray with SPF 30. So if you forgot to put your SPF on before you put your makeup on and then it's too late, you can always go in with that or this one. This one, whoops. This is SPF 50. It's just a face mist, but it also is SPF 50, which is so clever. I love a multitasking product. What a beautiful view. Look at this view from the sixth floor. And this is Atkinson's. These were founded in 1799, and this is their Oud collection. La Perla vibes. You already know this is one of my favorites. I'm actually wearing this today already, this one. I haven't tried this, so let's try this one out. All the La Perla body care. So beautiful. And we already know how much I love my La Perla lipsticks. I'm wearing rosewood red today. So we could try out a few more of these. Who remembers when I used to wear Widian all the time? This is the new one. these Versace perfumes apparently the rose one is going to be right up my street good morning hopefully this vlog will be shorter than the last two because they were long <laughs> so if you did watch those well I am so proud of you <sighs> today is Sunday and it is definitely well autumn is definitely here there's been a nip in the air, a bit of a chill in the air. We've got clouds, grey clouds, like full cloud coverage and a lot of it is grey and it's just a typical English autumn day. But I am on my way to help a friend. I don't know if you remember a couple of vlogs ago, I was moving some suitcases to a friend's just because she needed them to help like in terms of her packing and stuff. So today's the day I'm going to go and help her do some well, I thought I was helping her move, but actually it turns out I think I'm just helping her organize her wardrobes. So we're going to go and do that. I'm just leaving now. I don't know if I can take you with me, but we're going to try. Before I head off in other news, I tried out a new shampoo and conditioner yesterday. And I think that the hair speaks for itself. It's from John Frieda and it's from their Vibrant Shine range. And like... They're not lying. They were not messing. The shine is incredible. I mean, admittedly, I need to get my roots done. Hopefully I will do that this week because I wanted to do it last week and could not, did not have time to get an appointment. Didn't even have time to ring to make an appointment. So hopefully I will get an appointment this week. But yeah, I just wanted to show you, look at the shine. So 
yeah I think my hair just loves John Frieda products everything I've ever used from John Frieda my hair loves and this one is no exception we are a couple of days later now I didn't film anything while we were organizing and unpacking I didn't really know what she wanted me to do at her house her new flat turns out what she really wanted me to do was organize her bags and shoes and put them in her wardrobes and just um I want to put you down and just yeah just uh, organize her bags and shoes that she hadn't really unpacked so that's what we did and it wasn't really something that I yeah, I didn't really film it but it's a couple of days ahead now it's a rainy day but I'm heading into town for something which I think might be quite fun it's the launch of a new keto product brand hi Hercules come to join us oh no he's sitting right behind but uh, we're going to be on a London bus I hope it's not an open top bus because the weather is not good it's very blustery and it's been showery all day and although it's not meant to rain this afternoon it's not great weather so that's where we're headed I've been upping my gym workout considerably yesterday and today so I'm a little bit exhausted and uh, I've added in some extra bits that I just I want to see if they make a difference I will report back by the end of the week if I'm still feeling alive <laughs> by the end of the week but I was dead yesterday I kept wanting to nap all day and didn't have time to nap <laughs> and I just I was running around all day and then went out for dinner last night which I didn't vlog either um, but I met up with a couple of old friends I mean when I say old friends I've known them since I was 16 so years and years and years and yeah we had a good old catch up and uh, I was good I did not eat pasta they both had two massive bowls of pasta and I was looking on them very very jealously but I, I'd always eaten at home because I eat really early like I I'm happy to eat my dinner at five o'clock if I'm really honest and yesterday because I think I was so tired and exhausted from my workout I by five o'clock I really I thought maybe I can just string this out and um, we tried to pull dinner a little bit earlier but there was no way so I had dinner with the kids at five o'clock and then went and had dinner with my friends so I just stuck to a chicken Caesar salad and I had the dressing on the side so I could just dip in a little bit here and there but actually didn't really need it by the time you've got all that parmesan on there and stuff I didn't really need the dressing so I actually did keep it quite healthy last night and I'm very proud of myself because ugh, their pasta looked so good, like so good. I've had a quick breakfast this morning, just a couple of pieces of toast and some coffee, which yesterday I went back to having my bulletproof coffee and I haven't had that for a long time. So I did have a bulletproof coffee yesterday, but today because I'm going for this keto products launch, I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of kind of keto friendly items there for me to dig into. So I've stayed away from my bulletproof coffee today just had some coffee and some toast just to keep me going really want to show you what I'm wearing in the mirror upstairs but my daughter is taking a nap I don't want to wake her maybe if I whisper to tell you what I'm wearing and then I'll put subtitles so you can see what I'm wearing so this is what I'm wearing most of this is old not new this is a sleeveless kind of boucle knitted not quite sure Chloe top with the really lovely neckline hope you can see that and these are like khaki brownie khaki leather trousers from theory and they've got this really nice slit at the ankle which makes putting on the boots a lot easier I'm wearing my new Todd boots the Fendi bag which <laughs> goes really well with the leather jeans so that's really nice and then I've got my old I'll put it on my old Joseph um, like an elongated jacket peacoat type thing to go over it because I don't want to be cold but I don't want to be too hot either so yeah that's the jacket on it's double breasted so it should keep me warm if I need it to be and that is my outfit for the day it's a really grey, pretty miserable looking day. I'm just walking along the Victoria Embankment. That's the London Eye. I can see 
get the London bus. In front of me, there's a whole load of balloons there, so I think that that's the one. But before I go up there, I'm standing in front of... So noisy. I'm standing in front of Scotland Yard, which I don't think I've ever seen before. Like, born and brought up in London. Never, ever been in front of Scotland Yard. I have to say, even when the weather is not great, London is just beautiful. There's the bus. I think that's what we are heading on to. You can see the balloons. And obviously up there, Big Ben. So we are having afternoon tea on this London bus. It is not an open top bus, thank goodness, because it has just started pouring down outside. But I just wanted you to see all these cakes. These are all keto friendly cakes. And just look at the view. Afternoon tea in London could not be more quintessentially British than this because that there is Big Ben. Good morning everyone. I've got my glasses here because I can't find my glasses case. As I had predicted, it was a very chilled evening last night. I was shattered, like so tired. You can probably see it on my face. I look so tired and I'm not wearing any makeup today. But there's a good reason for that. Absolutely no makeup because I am going for a facial with gold baden, which if you've been following me for a while, you know that that is one of my favorite skincare brands. I swear by their doctor's scrub and their facial detox mask is just lovely as well. So I'm not on purpose, but I'm dressed totally in black, but I'm wearing the same Joseph coat that I wore yesterday. So this is a jumper from COS. I think this is at least two years old. Yeah, probably two and a half years old. I have this in beige as well. It's probably the best little jumpers that I have because it just has that tiny little bit of sleeve detailing, which means that it is just a little bit more flattering. And I kind of like the length of the sleeves. Black trousers, like classic Joseph black kind of stretchy trousers. My Stuart Weitzman glittery boots that always get so many compliments. Absolutely love them. And then, oh, I'm going to put on my Joseph coat and same bag that I wore yesterday, my Fendi bag, and I am ready to go. And actually not putting on any makeup this morning meant that I was ready in like minutes compared to the normal time it takes. So that was a bonus as well. Right, I've had my coffee. I look like I need a sleep. I look like I need, the hair also needs a wash, but I'm gonna get my roots done tomorrow. So I'm not gonna wash my hair today. Um, yeah, let's go. Good morning, everyone. Gosh, this vlogging lark. Obviously, it turns out that I'm not that good at vlogging when I go out and about and I'm much better at vlogging at home. And that's not how it used to be. I used to vlog everything when I went out, like all the events that I went to and lunches and things like that. And I don't know. I don't know if it's that things have changed. Let me take these off. Yeah, I don't know if it's that, I don't know if things have changed since the pandemic and people are more private or, I mean, I know I definitely feel more private about certain things, so maybe that's what it is. But I do feel much more conspicuous if I take my camera out and about with me and, you know, whip it out of my handbag and, uh, yeah, less vlogging while I'm outside. So I'm so sorry, I went off to John Bell and Croydon and had a quick 15 minute flash facial with Gold Fadden and I didn't vlog it. I did, however, do a little reel. So maybe it's just that it's easier to have your phone in people's faces than it is a camera these days. Maybe it's just me. Is it just me? Please tell me. 
but yeah I did that yesterday and then we have a little phrenectomy update so she went to go and have the stitches out which was not painful but definitely very very uncomfortable and the orthodontist when she was having a look at that area to take before she took the stitches out she realized that an ulcer had developed so I think that's where the majority of the ongoing pain was um, if you're not interested in this I'm really really sorry but I know that um, having chatted about the phrenectomy a little bit in my previous vlog there's been a few questions about I mean what even is a phrenectomy but also kind of the process of it so she had the stitches out yesterday and I think we wait about two or three weeks before we start going in with the procedures for the braces but it does turn out that she's not going to have train track braces she's going to have basically something very similar to Invisalign it's Invisalign but a different brand and I think that's Amazon at my front door yep we have a couple of Amazon packages my kids are now very adept at just clicking on Amazon and getting the things they need saves me the time and trouble actually because otherwise they're just constantly asking me to get this and that for them so where was I um yeah, she's going to have, uh, it's a different brand, I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's basically like having an Invisalign treatment, and I think her treatment's going to be only about six months, which, you know, mine is, is uh, about a year and a half. Yeah, it's about a year and a half. Uh, but she is going to be changing her trays, I think, every week. There's not a huge amount of movement that her teeth need. I mean, I actually don't think she needs braces at all. I think her smile is so gorgeous and so cute, but she's very, very conscious of her smile. And so, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna bite the bullet, we're gonna do it. But all is good. She woke up this morning and she said that um, it's definitely feeling a lot better. She does have to do a salt water mouthwash, you know, a couple of times a day. Um, just to kind of help the healing process along but that's where she is so that is good I'm currently sitting in my kitchen I feel like a bit of a hobo in my own home sometimes because I've kind of got used to working on in my bedroom and obviously you know my husband works from home as well and he's in the bedroom doing conference calls so I'm I'm down here and I'm editing this video, the beginning of this video, and I realized that I kind of just went straight into it. So apologies if you started this video and we went straight into it and there was no explanation about uh, what I was talking about. It was the phrenectomy, which had ended in the previous video. If you remember, we were holding hands in the previous video. Today, I am finally going and getting my roots done. So if my hair's looking a little bit flat, it's because I haven't bothered washing it. I mean, there's no point me washing my hair if I'm going to go and have my roots done. So I'm very happy to do that because it's well overdue, but my hairdressing lady couldn't, I couldn't get an appointment with her. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to her new salon, as in she's moved the salons that she was working at. So I'm going somewhere different today. It's my first time going to the salon where she's moved to. So. That'll be interesting. And I'm just, no, I'm not getting it cut. I'm just gonna get the roots done and a bit of a glossing treatment as well, just to give it a bit more shine. And I did a quite a lot of shopping yesterday for some hair products. There's a particular hair brand that my daughter loves. And you know, my daughter has hair down to like, you can't even see it, it's like down to her waist. And she's very particular about the products that she uses on her hair, quite rightly so and it's been out of stock for the longest time like the longest time and i saw that it came back into stock yesterday so i bought her three sets of the shampoo and conditioner just because i know it's going to go out of stock again and i bought a whole load of other items as well from the same brand so i'll do a little hair care haul when all of that arrives hopefully hopefully in this vlog if not it will definitely be in the next vlog but I need to do a little bit of work, like editing, before I head off for my hair appointment. So I'll see you in about, how long have I got? Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of hours. This morning was good though. We had a little masterclass with Tonya. She's the founder of Stories Parfum, which is, you know, it's a luxury, well, you might not know, it's a luxury niche fragrance brand. And 
I basically live in stories number one. There's only two fragrances in the collection and I do love them both. And when I went to Spain earlier this year for a girls weekend, I took number two, but I basically live in stories number one. In fact, I sprayed some into my hair and I can just, every time I swish my hair, I can smell it. So if you're wondering, if you're thinking, please stop playing with your hair, I'm doing it because it just kind of surrounds me in perfume, my favorite perfume. And I've been wearing it for, I think actually since just before it launched, I got given a little sample of it just before it launched. So that would be five years. I think I've been wearing basically the same perfume. If you've ever seen me doing a get ready with me, you'll have seen it there. But that was this morning. Okay, I need to work. <laughs> I'd rather just talk to you. I need to work. If you're wondering what you're sitting on right now, I know you're not wondering, but I'm going to tell you anyway, you are on my Vitamix. That right there is where you were. <laughs> Which also reminds me, I have never really talked about my Vitamix and I love my Vitamix. In fact, the, and I think I've had it for, I mean, I used to use it as a bribe for the kids when they were little, like really little. And I would say to them, if you eat your dinner, I'll make you ice cream, obviously very healthy ice cream because homemade with frozen fruit and things like that. And I'd always sneak in a little bit of cabbage and carrot into their ice cream or frozen yogurt or sorbet or whatever. You can make it in 30 seconds. I've never really talked about my Vitamix, so maybe I should do that. I'll probably do that in the next vlog. But it is a game changer in the kitchen. Like, it's just amazing. This is not sponsored. I bought this myself years and years ago. I saved up for it and I bought it and it's probably one of the best kitchen investments that I've ever made. That and my KitchenAid mixer. Two best investments, both of which I saved up for before I bought them. And the mixing container thing that you are sitting on is the second one I bought. So I have the, when I bought the Vitamix, it comes with a very long one, which doesn't go into the dishwasher and it doesn't, it doesn't allow my Vitamix to go underneath my uh, kitchen cupboards, between the kitchen surface and the kitchen cupboard, if you see what I mean. So I got this smaller one. They're really expensive, but they last forever. Uh, so I got this smaller one just because, um, it just makes it more practical and it can go in the dishwasher. But now I really do have to work. <laughs> hair is done. What a difference. <laughs> I mean it's looking very big right now and we have a side parting which I think I'll change when I get home but yeah the shine is there and my roots are done. <laughs> <laughs> 